Hi guys, welcome again to our new session of the Jira. In this session, I will explain you about Jira, detailed structure, why we are using, and why it is very much important when we are working with the crucial projects. So, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's understand today's agenda. Then we will move further in detail sessions. So here I will explain you about detail structure or how and why Jira is needed. Who uses Jira frequently? The content available or the functionality available in Jira and top features for Jira user. So first of all, what is Jira and when is when it is launched? Jira tool launched by as the Atlassian team. The software is used for bug tracking, issue management, test case management, and project management as well. So Jira software is a work management tool for software teams that needs to be organized and track their work. Jira is incredibly flexible and can be customized to work with our team's unique workflow, not against it, meaning teams of all kinds can enjoy increased productivity and visibility as they match towards releasing amazing software and products. So Jira helps in sprint planning as well as test case management and defect reporting. Jira is an agile project management tool we can see that. Jira software allows for integration with external system provides an overview of team activity that is let's use the established permission setting complete scrum project and customize important workflow so this is a jira dashboard looks like that in further session definitely i will cover the complete structure how it is working towards and each section i will cover in detail so if you want to learn jira from scratch consider following this content so from i will create from scratch to export level sessions on Jira. How we will use it and who all will use the Jira in their project needs. So requirement document and test case management is also done. So let's take an example if you are working with agile framework and the several teams are available. When product owner wants to upload any document to any specific project, they can use it, upload it. The single document or single repository will be created and if other team wants to view it, they can directly view through their uploaded content. They don't need to, the product owner don't need to forward each and every team. There is a single repository available here. They can upload it user story wise or project wise. Post that, anyone can see that. Then, if you are talking about the testing team perspective, testing team can upload the test cases. So, it will share with Every stakeholders, who, whoever wants to view it or uh, see the content of test cases, they can see it from the single repository. So Jira for Agile teams. So whenever we are talking about Jira for Agile team, uh, so there are different teams involvement are there. Sometimes it is required to update the document or uh, update the content and sometimes it is needed to be track for each and every person who is present or who is allocated for the specific project. So Scrum Master can manage the activity in Jira and they can provide the feedback and the user story and the task as well. Project management, so very much possible in project management as well. So whenever we are talking about managing any specific project, they can use it. Software development teams are also using for updating the content. Once any feature is built, they can update and move to the next team buckets. Project management is also very much possible. Task management and bug tracking as I already said. So who uses Jira frequently? So Jira software is a work management tool for software team that needs to be organized and track their work. Jira is incredibly flexible and can be customized to work with our team's unique workflow, not against it and meaning 
teams of all kinds can enjoy increased productivity and visibility as they march towards releasing amazing software and products so companies and teams are all also using jira software launched in 2002 as an issue tracking and project management tool for teams since then over 65 k plus companies are globally have adopted jira for its flexibility to support any type of project and extensibility to work with thousands of app and integrations so if i can say the popularity post 2002 is more than 65000 organization has already adopted and they are using it teams through 2000 so jira is used by teams uh, of 2 and 2000 in companies of all sizes devops teams are also using so breaking down silos and creating seamless collaboration between software development and id teams is a difficult condition in for any organization so combining both the teams together to work together and assign the priorities and push the priorities they will act according to that so devops is a set of practices that automates processes between these two teams promises benefits like team trust faster software release ability to solve critical issues quickly and improved management of unplanned work on the one hand devops is a very much a company culture but here we will explore the tools and functionality within the jira software so software development teams are also using for their projects and teams use jira software to help with every stage of the software development life cycle they can upload their code in git repository which is accessible to each and accessible to each and everyone they will create a branch directly from a jira issue or add issue keys to a commit branch or pull request to link them so whenever we are talking about the flagging perspective when its team when it needs to deploy new code to the customer say 10% of that they can deploy it 100% rolling is also possible issue management is also possible project backlog tracking and road map we can clarify it project management so if we are talking about the project management perspective jira software is that can be configured to suit any type of project from simple task management to extremely complex initiatives so project board is also looks very clear if you want to categorize in kanban chart we can also do that if you want to make a basic level this could be like to do in progress and done that is also possible reporting defect tracking the defect each and every step will be tracked here so because of that we can see that project management is very much possible here reporting structure is very much clear that too many templates are available anyone wants to use it templates for their project needs for their uh, representation or defect reporting or any burn down chart these all reports would be clearly extracted and shared with each and every one customizable permissions are also available and the most advanced feature we can see that jira mobile app is also available so if you are traveling in from one place to other place and you don't have laptop with you you can directly use your uh, jira mobile application and track it so company demographics are also used more than 3400 plus organization has adopted jira for their company demographics so what we can do here jira could deployment options of project management software development devops and much more the use cases these teams use jira for may be similar but the team themselves are quite diverse so there are five biggest teams they are using like unity acta gendesk and marcori so five largest company walmart toyota samsung optum and maxon has already started using jira for their project needs so that's all about jira hope you liked it if you really enjoyed the content of today's session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates for more tuning or upcoming challenge
consider pressing bell icon so that whenever I will upload a new channel, new content on uh, Jira, you will get notified with us. Thank you for watching.